Good evening, everyone, and Hello. welcome to tonight's uh, free tax preparation and financial counseling session streaming on Zoom and on Facebook Live. I'm Assemblymember Rebecca C. Wright, serving the Upper East Side, Yorkville and Roosevelt Island, and I'm coming to you by Zoom this evening from our state capital in Albany, where we're negotiating our state budget. With tax day almost one week away, we wanted to provide a discussion about the free tax prep and financial counseling services that New York City has to offer. Every New Yorker deserves the information and resources necessary to master their financial responsibilities. We've hosted this very popular ses session in years past, and so we're pleased to be offering it to you this evening. Uh, the event is a great way to start. Uh, now I'd like to introduce our special guest this evening who'll be sharing his expertise with us. Um, Ed Sin is a Senior Community Affairs Associate with the Department of Consumer and Worker Protection, a New York City agency dedicated to protecting and enhancing the daily economic lives of New Yorkers through consumer and worker family empowerment. DCWP provides tools and resources to educate consumers, help them achieve financial health and work-life balance. So, Ed, I want to thank you for joining us tonight and taking the time to offer your expertise. And I also want to thank my staff, my chief of staff, Courtney Farisee. I see Madison Thomas and, and Flor De Maria on my staff for organizing it this evening. And I want to thank each of you for logging on and participating in this important session. And uh, so have a good evening. I'm going to have to jump off as I'm. we're still working here at the Capitol but have a great session and uh, take it away, Ed. Thanks again. Thank you for that introduction, Assembly Member. Um, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm just gonna start off by sharing my screen and hopefully everyone can see that. Um, so uh, today we'll be focusing on uh, New York City uh, free tax prep and the um, New York City's uh, financial empowerment centers. So thank you all uh, again for joining us today on uh, for this presentation. Um, and I just wanted to share a little bit of uh, about who we are as a city agency. So let me first introduce uh, the Department of Consumer and Worker Protection, um, also known as DCWP. Some of you may be familiar uh, with our previous name, uh, Department of Consumer Affairs. Um, it is uh, DCWP's mission to protect and enhance the daily economic lives of New Yorkers um, to create thriving communities. And what that means um, is that we as a city agency license more than 59,000 businesses like uh, car washes, uh, used car dealerships, tobacco shops. Um, we also enforce workplace rights, like your right to take a sick day without uh, being punished for that. And we also offer financial empowerment resources to help New Yorkers uh, support their financial goals and for their financial health. So with respect to financial empowerment, I'd like to talk to you all about uh, two major programs that can help you save money and achieve your financial goals. Uh, the first being NYC Free Tax Prep. Um, so for the past 21 years, DCWP has led New York City's annual tax campaign where we're connecting New Yorkers with certified uh, volunteer tax preparers who are paid by the city to do your taxes for free. So with NYC Free Tax Prep, um, you're using a preparer that is uh, a trusted professional and you're avoiding having to pay expensive tax preparer fees. So we're learning that New Yorkers are paying anywhere between 250 to $300 and upwards of even $500 for someone to do their taxes for them. So our preparers are trained to ensure that you're claiming valuable tax credits that uh, would mean a bigger refund and more money going back to your household. So <clears throat> many of our cities, um, working families and individuals, uh, for them, a, a tax return can serve as the single largest paycheck for the year. And we're seeing that too often that there's money that's being left on the table because uh, New Yorkers might not understand that they're eligible for 
specific tax credits or they're using a paid tax preparers uh, who would charge them for these services that would otherwise be free. Um, so an example of important tax credits would be the child tax credit or the earned income tax credit. And more than 800,000 New Yorkers, uh, or excuse me, 800,000 families in New York uh, City are eligible for the earned income tax credit. And just this past year, um, DCWP and Mayor Eric Adams fought in Albany to expand the earned income tax credit to put more money in the pockets of hardworking New Yorkers. So I wanna highlight uh, just the success stories that we've had over the years. Um, so since 2014, our providers have completed more than 900,000 tax returns for New Yorkers and bringing in an estimated $136 million in fee savings uh, for New Yorkers like yourselves. And last year we had a filer who learned about the child tax credit and was able to get connected through our service and they ultimately received more than uh, $30,000 in their tax refund after filing through NYC free tax prep. So our providers can complete tax returns for all taxpayers, regardless of their immigration status. And to file your taxes for free using NYC free tax prep, um, generally families have to have an income of $80,000 or less. And for single filers, that income threshold is $56,000 or less. However, there are sites that may vary and offer higher income thresholds. Um, and after this presentation, I'll help folks navigate uh, our website. So, um, but you can visit nyc.gov forward slash tax prep and take a look at uh, our map for specific locations and details. Um, we do have more than 150 sites across the city that offer a mix of different services that would best meet your needs. Um, so there are four different types of services that we offer through NYC Free Tax Prep. Um, the traditional service is, would be an in-person tax prep appointment uh, where you're sitting down with a volunteer preparer uh, at one of our tax sites. Um, if that wouldn't work for you. Uh, some of our sites also offer drop-off services where you would drop off your documents and pick up your document, uh, pick up your completed return at a later date. Um, so uh, we're also continuing with our uh, virtual tax prep, uh, where it's uh, you're scheduling an appointment, but uh, this would be uh, online, um, where you're meeting with a, a an IRS certified. Uh, volunteer income tax assistance uh, uh, preparer over video conference, much like how we're conducting this workshop today. Um, and you're scanning your documents and uh, or, or photos, uh, taking photos of your tax documents and sharing them with the preparer over a secure digital system. And then completing your return uh, uh, by video conference as well, or, or over the phone with a preparer. So uh, for this service, uh, we recommend that uh, filers need to, uh, that they have access to a computer or a tablet or a smartphone, a stable internet connection, and uh, the ability to download a secure video uh, conferencing software as well. And lastly, uh, with our ass assisted self-preparation, uh, you would uh, utilize our uh, tax uh, prep software. Um, where, um, excuse me. Huh. So uh, you would, uh, should you have any questions, um, you would be able to access uh, a VITA a, a volunteer a tax preparer. Um, they would be available over the phone or email to answer any questions that you may have, but you would just be completing the return on your own. And again, uh, the need for a computer uh, or tablet access or smartphone access would be required as well, as long along with a stable internet connection. So our, our volunteer uh, tax preparers speak many different languages and we offer our services in 13 different languages. Uh, so the ones that you see listed on your screen here. Um, so if there is a provider that, um, that does not have the on-site language capacity that you would need. Um, 
our providers are contracted with uh, a translation service uh, where we uh, they, there would be um, more than 180 different languages to help facilitate your appointment. So uh, with that said, I want to also highlight uh, what you would need um, when you schedule your appointment. So when you arrive for your appointment, we want to make sure you, that you have the following items. So either a photo ID, such as your ID at NYC uh, or your uh, driver's license, uh, your tax ID, such as your social security number or uh, individual I uh, taxpayer identification number, otherwise it's known as an ITIN. You would also be providing your proof of income, such as a W-2, a 1098 or 1099. We want to remind New Yorkers that uh, child care expenses can also be deducted. And you may want to provide uh, your bank account and routing uh, number for your refund to be direct uh, deposited directly. And with regards to uh, paid preparers, um, so I, I want to emphasize that if you do use a, a paid preparer for your taxes, you have rights. And the Department of Consumer and Worker Protection produces and require these pay preparers to disclose our Consumer Bill of Rights regarding tax preparers. Um, it's always important to be on alert for preparers that may overcharge, uh, charge hidden fees, or even file your return without your permission. So uh, just wanting to highlight that. Um, and in terms of... Uh, a new service uh, that we're offering as starting this year. Um, so for self-employed New Yorkers, if you work for yourself and you need uh, to file your taxes annually and make estimated tax payments quarterly, NYC Free Tax Prep can also assist with that. Um, there are specific uh, in-person sites that offer assistance to uh, self-employed or Schedule C uh, assistance as well. Um, so through, April 18th, uh, so that's just next week, um, our providers can help uh, self-employed New Yorkers complete uh, accurate uh, tax returns as well. Um, so the self-employed New Yorkers, so for families, it's still $80,000 or less, or uh, for single filers, it's $56,000 or less with business expenses of uh, $250,000 or less. And starting uh, this summer, um, our, uh, there will be additional free resources uh, that we want to provide uh, self-employed uh, employed New Yorkers with access to, including uh, these in-person specialized tax prep uh, centers, um, along with workshops uh, to learn the basics of tax filings and, and record keeping uh, best practices. Uh, additionally, there'll be one-on-one -on -one consultations um, where you would receive uh, personalized assistance and tools specific to your business, along with toolkits um, and more. Uh, so you would get help with record keeping uh, and to many of the free city services uh, and resources to help build your assets and to grow your business. Um, next, I'd love to talk to you about our uh, financial empowerment centers. So these are locations where you would uh, can go and meet with your own personal financial counselor. This is a free uh, financial counseling service to anyone that's over the age of 18, or whether they work or live in New York City. There's no income or uh, immigration status restriction. So we operate these sites uh, a citywide uh, with more than uh, 30 in-person sites. And since 2008, our financial counselors have helped more than 65,000 New Yorkers reduce their debt by more than $85 million and build more than $10 million in savings. So when you're meeting with our financial counselors, uh, one of the first things that they would ask you is what are your goals? So for example, um, are you looking to repair your credit? Are you looking to save up for a purchase, be it a home, a car, or if you need help tackling uh, your debt? So from there, uh, the financial counselors would develop an assessment of your financial health and uh, they would work with you to uh, achieve your specific goal. So. Um, 
with your financial counselors, you'll be able to develop a short-term and long-term plan to achieve these goals. And we strongly encourage that you schedule follow appointments to stay in contact, um, either over the phone or email to make sure that your needs are being met. And appointments are offered uh, uh, during weekends, uh, in the evenings, and over the phone as well. And we're also expanding the service um, in partnership with New York City's Department of Small Business Services, uh, specific, specifically with their Workforce One Career Centers, um, where uh, there'll be 10 new financial counselors that will be placed in uh, the Workforce One Centers. And uh, this expansion will look to serve more than uh, 4,000 clients per year uh, and will be integrated uh, with uh, work uh the small business services workforce development programming um and will only be available to uh, workforce one clients so um with that said um we urge you to uh if you have any questions uh i will be happy to take them uh following uh this presentation but feel free to call through on one or also uh visit nyc.gov forward slash dcwp so I will end my presentation here, and I just want to uh, highlight um, just the our website and the navigating that as well. So um, in the chat, I will share um, the link here for our free tax prep services and also our link to our financial counseling page. So just bear with me. Um, so when you go to nyc.gov forward slash tax prep, um, this is the page that you'll uh, land on. And so for those that are uh, in interested in in-person tax prep and drop-off services, uh, you would simply click on this map and it will take you to a page like this where uh, you would see a number of different sites across the city. And depending on your specific need, so I mentioned language access, um, you can navigate this site depending on your language needs. Um, but uh, for specific sites um, within uh, your district, um, we have a site here uh, on Roosevelt Island. So the Roosevelt Island Senior Center, um, in terms of scheduling an appointment, some of our sites will have either a link or a phone number that you can call to schedule your appointment. But um, in terms of the availability, uh, that may vary from site to site. So this particular site, uh, uh, so th they operate on Tuesdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And as far as the income limits, uh, so there's a limit that I mentioned uh, as before. So for families, it's eighty thousand dollars or less, and for single filers, it's fifty six thousand dollars or less. There are specialized assistants uh, in that uh, they can help amend uh, returns from uh, previous years or help file returns uh, from pre previous year years as well. Um, also, uh, close by in Long Island City, Urban Upbound, um, they would have a little bit more availability. Uh, you can just see uh, their hours. So Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, and uh, Saturday hours as well. And th their services um, are a little bit more um, expanded. Uh, so they this is a site that would help uh, be able to help uh, self-employed New Yorkers, as well as um, anyone that would need an ITIN number. But you would uh, either call their number uh, that's listed here or schedule an appointment through their website. But um, additionally, just south of the, uh, your district, so Bellevue Hospital. Um, Did you just call? So um, just Wednesdays and Fridays from 9 to 5. Um, but again, uh, this is hosted through by Urban Upbound at uh, the Bellevue Hospital. Um, Sorry to interrupt, Ed, but there's yes. one, there's a question in the chat from Dana Jacoby. Mm -hmm. How can I get help filing an extension? 
Um, so our tax filers can also assist with that as well. Um, I would call. Um, so if you uh, just when you're scheduling an appointment, um, if you do qualify, um, this is a service that uh, our uh, providers can help with. Um, so what you see on our website here, um, the 150 sites. So after the, the tax deadline, a number of the sites will reduce across the city. However, the, um, there are a number of sites that will still be able to help New Yorkers um, after the uh, tax deadline. Um, we don't know which sites will still be operating, but um, I would suggest uh, we will be updating this uh, site. So following the deadline next week, um, there will be uh, sites that will conti continue uh, in, uh, their services. However, um, I would say just trying to schedule an appointment before then, even if it's just to help with filing uh, for an extension. Um, There's another question actually um, from sure. Ann um, I'm happy to address the questions uh, after just helping folks navigate the, uh, just uh, our website. Um, but if folks are interested in uh, filing their taxes virtually uh whether it's through the virtual tax prep or uh assist self preparation um there's another button here that would allow us to see the drop down and the different service providers that would uh, assist with this as well so there are a number of uh different uh, organizations that are contracted with the city um to assist with that uh um and here we have a a section that's dedicated to uh, self-employed and your uh, filers as well. Um, and you can see this information here. Um, in terms of uh, our summer services, uh, we will have more information uh, after this uh, tax season, but, but definitely before the summer uh, starts, uh, we want to emphasize that uh, there are some, there is specialized resources for self-employed New Yorkers. Um, and also in terms of the documentation uh, that you would need, um, there's a separate list here, just uh, all the things that I didn't get to really highlight um, during the presentation, but uh, you'll get a sense of what you can bring or what you may need or to bring in addition to just your doc uh, identification. Um, and in terms of our financial, uh, free financial counseling services, um, you can visit this website. Uh, I've also shared it in the chat. It's nyc.gov forward slash uh, talk money. And just to give you a sense of just how easy it is to schedule an appointment online, um, you would click on the link here and you would choose the financial impairment center uh, as far as the program. We also offer uh, ready to rent, uh, where if you're searching for an affordable apartment through the uh, NYC housing lottery, um, ready to rent can help uh, folks check your credit, uh, calculate your income for your housing applications as well. But uh, in terms of scheduling an appointment for uh, financial counseling services, um, Depending on um, your availability, uh, you can schedule an appointment as early as tomorrow. And let's see what we have available. Um, so, again, in Long Island City, with our partners at uh, Urban Upbound, uh, you have the option of in person or uh, phone counseling. And let's say that I wanted to schedule an appointment for tomorrow at 3 p.m. It's as simple as just entering your personal uh, information. So your name, your email address, your phone number, and you'll hit just hit submit and then you'll receive a, a confirmation over the phone. I'm sorry, over email. But um, so I'm happy to address any questions that uh, folks have here today. Um, yes, we have um, 
Anna Boris, she has a question. Can undocumented workers use these tax services? Uh, yes, so there are there is no immigration uh, status requirements uh, for for these services. Um, just in, just um, we just have the only requirement for these tax services is just the income requirement. Um, and for und undocumented um, New Yorkers, uh, if they're qualified to work in, in um, New York City, uh, some of our providers will can provide uh, help or assistance with filing their IT numbers. So this would be uh, an identification number that is uh, similar to your social security number, but for anyone that is qualified to uh, work in New York or in the US. Um, I'm also seeing uh, a question directly messaged to me. So uh, folks are asking, uh, so I'm disqualified for these services. Um, uh, I didn't file my return last year as I collected unemployment. So, um, so our, and excuse me, I'm just reading this question. Um, so I have a 1099-R and a 1099-G along with a W-2. Are those, are, are there any free services who can assist us? Um, also, should I owe them money? How can I request a pay payment plan? Um, so just to unpack that, um, depending on where where you are in the bracket, some of our providers can assist. If you're just slightly above bracket um, by a few hundred dollars or a thousand even, um, we we do know that our uh, our partners are prepared to assist New Yorkers and can um, it all all it takes is just really asking um, and scheduling an appointment just ahead of time, um, depending on where you are. But we, in many instances, we we are aware that um, some folks that are, or some families that are just slightly above the threshold, um, they have been able to utilize these services as well. Um, but I, it, it really does require it's a case by case basis, obviously, and everyone's financial uh, situation or uh, their income situation is different. Um, but in terms of uh, just, uh, filing a previous uh, uh, prior year returns, um, and if you do uh, qualify that, there are many of our um, uh, partners uh, uh, that can assist with that as well, where they as would assist with uh, fi filing prior, uh, prior year returns. So. There are there these services still remain to be free, um, and as far as scheduling a payment plan, that is something that you would have to uh, reach out to the IRS with. Some of our partners may be able to assist with that, so I just wanted to clarify that as well. Um, and as far as uh, what uh, what is the family income limit? Um, for, for this free service. So I want to reiterate, so for families, it's uh, $80,000 or less. And for uh, single filers, that's $56,000 or less. So um, unfortunately, if you're a single filer that's uh, making significantly more than $56,000, um, uh, just I would suggest you utilizing uh, a paid tax preparer. But I, I do want to emphasize that you also have rights as a consumer. And uh, these paid tax preparers are required to provide with you your consumer bill of rights and make and have you be aware of the services that are uh, offered. So, um, any other questions? So um, seeing no other questions at the moment, I, I do want to emphasize that um, the d deadline to file your taxes is, again, April 18th. So that is next Tuesday. Um, I would highly recommend uh, scheduling your appointment now if you still need to uh, file your taxes. Um, depending on the site and neighborhood that you schedule your appointment, um, 
I've seen that there are certain neighborhoods that have limited appointments depending on what you where where you are. So parts of Brooklyn where I've been uh, sharing the same information, uh, we're seeing that uh, there were limited uh, amounts. So you may have to travel to another neighborhood to access some of these uh, this free resources as well. Okay, um, I don't see any other questions unless someone wants to ask their question out loud, they can. So no more questions at this time. Thank you, Ed, for that wonderful presentation. If anyone does have any questions to follow up, you can always call our office. We can direct you. Um, I, Ed's gonna share the presentation with us. Um, so you can reach us at 212-288-4607. And I'll put um, our email in the chat. Um, uh, Madison, I am seeing one other question. Um, so. For those, uh, so as far as making an appointment, um, so depending on which site that you want to access and utilize um, these services, I'm going to share the link in the chat again um, to our main uh, tax prep site. So I am seeing a couple more questions in the chat, so I'm happy to address those. But um, with that link, um, if you're interested in in-person and drop-off services, uh, there is a map that you can uh, look for a site depending on your needs, So, which uh, would include language access and uh, specific services that our providers can provide, including filing for an ITIN. Um, and depending on the site that you select, uh, there is either a phone number that you can call or uh, either a website where you can schedule your appointment online. So um, I, I just wanted to reiterate. And as far as the Consumer Bill of Rights, I can also, if you would bear with me, um, share that. Uh, So here it is. Um, the Consumer Bill of Rights concerning uh, tax preparers. So um, this is a PDF on our website. Uh, and I'll make sure to share that with your office as well, Madison. Um, and I'm also seeing uh, another question with regards to um, so please remind us if you want to work uh, by Zoom, where do we find those uh, links and how do we schedule an appointment? So again, uh, on our uh, website, nyc.gov forward slash tax prep, that is the main website. So just below the map, um, and again, I can just share my screen just so folks get a better sense. Um, So if you're interested in online services, um, so specifically virtual tax prep, um, here are the list of providers um, where you would have to go to, through their website to schedule uh, an appointment. But they do have a list of uh, their hours of operation. So um, there are a number of uh, organizations that are able to assist with that. So um, Grow Brooklyn, Food Bank, uh, Bedford Cybersyn Restoration Corporation, they're all uh, partners that we've um, enlisted to assist with this, uh, with these services as well. So, or 
urban upbound in Long Island City um, as well, which is uh, close to your district. Um, so, um, any other questions? So again, you can reach uh, this website. Um, I've shared it with it, you in the chat, uh, but there are just a number of different dropdowns um, that you would just be able to toggle this information. So again, for in-person services, uh, you can click on this map or for specifically for online tax prep services, uh, you can find a list of providers here and you would reach out directly to them, to schedule an appointment. Um, Ed, do you mind showing us um, the Consumer Bill of Rights? I don't think you were sharing your screen or discussing that part. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, so I have shared that, that link uh, in the chat. However, if, for those that want to view it on the screen here, it is. Um, so in terms of the Consumer Bill of Rights regarding tax preparers, so um, so you have the right to know the identifications and the qualifications of a tax preparer. And the, so for example, a tax preparer must tell you that if they're not an attorney or a, a certified public accountant. And uh, uh, tax preparers that are not attorneys or CPAs must uh, have a sign stating their name, address, phone number, and relevant qualifications. Um, as far as fees and additional charges, uh, there must be a sign listing uh, these tax preparation services that they offer and any of these fees that would be charged. Um, as far as options for paying uh, for the services and receiving your refund, um, what we're seeing is that um, a lot of uh, these tax preparer, and, and they're not necessarily scams, but it's just a, a a dishonest practice where what some tax preparers would say that, oh, well, if you file with us, you can get your uh, tax refund much this much fast, uh, like, uh, faster if you file through us. And what, what they're actually offering consumers is that these would be uh, refund uh, anticipation loans and or um, a refund in anticipation check where it, it it's only based on an estimate of what your income would be and what you would actually get as a refund. And then there may be additional fees or uh, associated with that as opposed to um, actually getting your actual refund. So we want New Yorkers to be uh, aware of that. So, and also whether or not a tax preparer will represent you uh, should you be audited. So a tax, Tax preparers must represent you or provide you with uh, representation at an audit unless they have a sign stating otherwise. Um, and uh, before you pay for these services, you have the right to receive a list of uh, refund options and tax services offered by these uh, tax preparers. Um, and also an estimated uh, total cost of the, each of the services that are that would be offered by these uh, tax preparers. So be it uh, basic filing fees or interest rates, if these are uh, refund uh, anticipation loans or uh, refund anticipation checks um, and the processing fees associated with it. Um, you should also uh, receive an estimate, uh, an estimate of how long you can uh, expect to wait for your refund based on the selected methods of payment or and or uh, refund delivery. So all this information can be found here. Um, again, I'm happy to share this uh, link in the chat again. Um, so should you want to use uh, a, a tax, uh, excuse me, a, a paid preparer, but um, any other questions that I can address here in this forum?
Okay. I think there's one more question. Oh no, Dana's just saying thank you. You've been very helpful tonight. Uh, you're very welcome. And uh, yeah, I encourage folks to take advantage of the service uh, if you do qualify for it and also just uh, for folks to be aware of the rights that you have as consumers. Hey, so if we don't have any further questions, I think we can um, end it here. Thank you so much, Ed, for joining us uh, with that information. It's great. If anyone has any questions, feel free to call our office or email us and um, we can get your answers questions uh, answered by Ed. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be, I'll uh, share with your office uh, just uh, uh, a copy of our presentation from today and also the Consumer Bill of Rights regarding tax preparers. So thanks again, everyone. And have Great, a good evening. Thank you so much. Have a good night.